Today we're going to look at two tripods. Both are made by k &F Concept and apart from the numbers that they go under, they could be quite difficult to tell apart. If you don't use a tripod, I suggest it's probably one of the things that will improve your photography the most. If you're one of those people who like to travel, these are both are fairly lightweight, so it would do for that. But also, if you do a lot of night photography, landscapes, anything where you're going to need a rather long exposure and you're going to be unable to handhold it, a tripod is a must. Both these tripods from KNF Concept come with a nice carrier bag. Yep, zip open, and of course you get a strap that you would fasten on for carrying it. Put that to the side. Also, both tripods come with a nice velvet bag, which is used for covering the ball head to keep it clean, etc. Put that off. Lying side by side, as I say, they, both these tripods look quite similar. The one at the front, which is the KFTM2534T, is slightly larger and slightly heavier, but not a lot. I'll show you some comparison pictures in a minute. The one at the back is called the KFTM2324. But for this video, rather than keep repeating the names, we'll call the front one here the red one, because it's quite obvious with the red part on it, and this one either the black or the black and gold. Both fold up quite neatly, very short. They're both relatively light. The smaller one at the back, the black one, black and gold one, is about 1250 grams. The one at the front is about 2000 grams, which is about 2 kilos, give or take a wee bit. Both fold up very neatly, as you can see there, and to open them up, uh, these would obviously strap to the side of your camera bag, very easily done. This one has also a carrying handle in it here, but they just open up like that, the legs click round, they've got the standard sort of three clicks to get them down and the centre column drops down like that. So I'll do that with this one as well and just quickly take them round, drop the centre column in. So there you are. But there's an image of them side by side. It'll give you some comparison what they like. Standing up in the short position the way they are lying at the moment, there's what they look like. Not a lot of difference in them at all. Obviously the smaller one being lighter, it's got slightly thinner legs than the other one. The smaller one, the black and gold one, has click fastening here for extending the legs. Whereas the other one, the red one, has twist. Merely a personal thing in that. Both of them, when they're fully extended, come up to a good height. That's one thing that's important about a tripod, I always think. That tripod must come up to your head height. You don't want to be stooped all the time over the top of it. If, for instance, you thought maybe on a really windy day that was a bit of movement in it, they've both got the hook system in the bottom there where you can attach your camera bag. The one at the front, if you want to drop it really low for macro, um, you get a shorter extension bar, so you take out the middle, put that in, and that will allow it to drop down. The back one doesn't do that. Here's a picture of them both side by side, as probably as low as I could get them. But having shown you that, this one, you can invert the column, turn it around the other way so your camera's down here. It allows you to get really low down. Okay, when you look at your camera, your image is upside down, but that's easily turned back in computer. Both have the standard click, click, three clicks to get it up. That, and you can put these legs into any position you'd like. Both are made from a magnesium alloy, uh, and they've got either plastic or rubber parts to them there. They've both got the nice foam grip there, good for carrying in a cold day. Don't get your hands cold. Both have ball heads, very similar in size, but they take the same quick-release plate. Also, both ball heads have one action for turning it that way, and one for turning it around. So they're both very, very similar to use. They both also have the bubble spirit level on the top for slipping your camera, but before you do, for landscapes in particular, make sure you get the bubble level first because once you put the camera on, it sometimes can obscure that bubble. So just remember, but it's easy to just screw the clip and that's it back in. Now, what may swing you 
is size wise which one you prefer this one the red one has one or two extra things on it that comes with it. for instance this center column by turning this pulling it up it then pushes through so you can use this at different angles and I'll just show you a couple of pictures there with that again just to push it back down you just pull it in push it up and that if you're one of these people who like a monopod then this leg detaches and the center column would screw into that and then you're left with a monopod so far I've not had any problems with any of the clips they're all well you obviously get an allen key with it as well for tightening up the uh, keys here should any ever become slack and it's always worth checking especially any new item that you buy uh, always check them after a wee while just to make sure they've not come slack in any way and then just a wipe down seems to keep them clean that's all I've done to them so far so there you go two tripods that look similar but in depends on your style of photography which one would be the best for you both available on Amazon at the moment and both at a really good price so there you have it the red one at the front which is the KF TM 2534T and the smaller black and gold one which is the KF TM 2324 so thanks for watching